to 100 Loud. Welcome up to uh, Loud Local, guys. Hello. Hello. Thank, thank you for thank having you. us. Absolutely. So before we go any further to anyone listening right now, and uh, why don't you just tell us who you are and what you do for 100 Loud. Well, uh, my name is Tom. I play, play bass for the band <laughs> as much as possible, I guess. <laughs> Daddy does. Daddy does. I'm Nick. I play the drums with a purpose. I'm Casey. And I do the rest, the, uh, the guitar and the vocals. Awesome. Well, uh, now that that's out of the way, you guys are going to be playing your record release show uh, this Saturday, March 24th, the 100 Loud album, which is called Risk vs. Reward, five songs of pure Northwest awesomeness being released at the High Dive with Devils Hunt Me Down, Crossing Crusades, and Jericho Hill. Congratulations, first off. Uh, you guys have a, a, the new record. I'm sure it's going to be a blast playing that live and finally debuting all those songs and uh you recorded this with jack and dino a, a northwest legend yeah yeah that was uh we were fortunate for sure we played a, a show with Upwell. that's awesome they're so good yeah they're amazing unfortunately i mean they were supposed to be on this bill michelle buster kneecap a couple weeks ago and uh, they had to pull out so michelle we're pulling for you um and crossing crusades the gentleman that they are stepped in at the last minute uh, and swooped in to save the day. But, yeah, we, we played a show with them, and uh, it was at Daryl's, and after the show... Shout out to Daryl's. Yes, favorite sir. Place. One of our favorite Shout out to Zoe. Sure. And uh, Jack said, you should record with us, and we were like, uh, yes. Yes, yeah. we should. <laughs> I had been dragging my feet for some time, and Nick and Tom had wanted to, but I think that was a sign that it was probably finally time. So tell us a little bit about the recording process with the local legend Jack and Dino. Uh, he cracked the whip. He d- it was good to did, see yeah. someone put Casey in his place. <laughs> yeah, he definitely very does well done. words, and he uh, he'll let you know if you need to do it again. Right, he'll tell you that that right. sucked. Do it again. Well, it was it was, it was great. beautiful though. Yeah. It, you know, we would not have asked for anything else. He, uh, like like Tom said, he doesn't mince words, which is which is awesome. And uh, we were prepping some coffee before the show. Now, mention uh, when we were talking off air, you said that you wrote down a few quotes uh, that, that he said to you, and then he kind of thought that you were taking offense, but, but you yeah. were just having a blast with it? No, I was loving it. I, I just wrote them down so I could remember them. Uh, I don't think I can repeat many of the quotes. Sure. Um, FCC unfriendly. Right, right. But nonetheless, uh, whip cracking with uh, colorful language, yeah. for sure. Yeah. But uh, I, Actually, I think one of them was... Uh, that was pretty good. I wish I knew what note that was supposed to be. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. perfect. Yeah. Yeah. He's very professional, though. I couldn't ask for a better guy to yeah. be behind board. He's true. Awesome. Yeah, a wizard, absolute wizard. Mm-hmm. He's not passive aggressive like most Northwesterners. Right, he'll tell you. Right, which we all appreciate and identify with for sure. That's awesome. So tell me a little bit about uh, why you guys picked Jericho Hill and Devils Hunt Me Down for your record release show. I mean. I'm assuming this is a pretty big uh, showcase for you guys, and uh, you probably got to pick the bands, right? Yeah. Um, I mean, they're just really damn good, plain and simple. Straight up. Yeah. Uh, Devil's Hunt Me Down has been really good to us, and uh, I've admired them as people and I mean, songwriters for a long time. Oh, those three EPs are fantastic. Yes, they are musical chess players. They don't... I like unnecessary that. stuff in their songs. It's all, you know, you can tell it's carefully crafted. Mm-hmm. To, you know, I mean, it's something that I don't really possess. I just, like, more is more for me. And, you know, so we just kind of jam a bunch of stuff. But they exemplify the quality of restraint at times sure. in songwriting. Yeah. We were blessed to be with their last EP release, wasn't it? After yeah. I died, so yep. if it's half as good as that was, we're going to be having a great night. Yep. Yeah. So let's make it half as good as that. <laughs> right, right. Set the bar high. It's good. Jericho I can Hill, relax. You know, yeah. I mean, Malcolm's a hell of a singer. Hell yeah. Adam, Mac, Steve. I mean, they're they're just talented dudes, and again, they they embrace melody to a higher level than than we usually do. But uh, it'll it'll be a lot of fun for sure. So if you're just tuning in, we're talking to 100 Loud here on Loud and Local. Uh, very fitting there. Uh, Saturday, March 24th, this coming Saturday at the High Dive, we're talking about the show. They're releasing their 
EP. It's five songs recorded by the almighty Jack and Dino. Risk versus Reward. They brought up three songs to debut. We've never played these. This is the first time anyone is going to be hearing this outside of the band. So uh, let's go forth and uh, play one of them. Uh, we got a song called Monster. Yes, sir. All right. What can you tell me about the song, or do you want the music to speak for itself? Um, that it definitely <laughs> speaks for itself. All uh, right. It's definitely fun to play. It was, it was our easiest one to write. Cool. Yeah. Absolutely. It's not a not a little by, that's for sure. All right. Let's jam it. We got 100 Loud here in the studio. We'll be back with them in just a few. But here's Monster on their new EP, Risk vs. Reward, on Loud and Local. Mm-hmm. 